In this review, I will be taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Leatherhead figure. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's start off by taking a look at the packaging. Leatherhead comes in the standard blister card packaging used for the Mutant Mayhem toy line. Towards the bottom we get the name, as well as Raging Cajun Gator. Moving up you can see the figure itself. To the side are images of the four turtles. At the top is a Mutant Mayhem logo over a purple brick background. The purple really pops in my opinion. The bottom has the barcode. Here is a look at the back side. We get a little bio card for Leatherhead. This is a classic throwback to TMNT figures of the past. Moving up you can see more figures in this toy line. Above that is a little read up, feel free to pause and read. Now with the figure out of the package, let's take a closer look. The look of this figure has some callbacks to the vintage figure while also being its own thing. Leatherhead, for those who don't know, is a mutated alligator and one of my personal favorite characters in all of TMNT. The snout is elongated and several teeth are exposed. The original toy of Leatherhead was able to open and close the mouth, but unfortunately this figure lacks that ability. Leatherhead appears to be wearing some sort of night vision goggles. They are non-removable. There is a bit of a wash for the underside. That's always a nice touch to break up the solid green skin color. Another callback to the original figure and the original cartoon version, Leatherhead does come equipped with his Crocodile Dundee hat. Some of the later versions of Leatherhead omitted the hat from the character. I personally really like when it's worn. Like the goggles, the hat is non-removable. Moving down to the body, we get a lot of brown color for the wardrobe, minus the bright yellow jacket. It does make the figure pop. The arms have added sculpted detail for the scales. Breaking up the brown shirt and pants is a black belt. The buckle is even painted silver. The legs are on the shorter side and the feet are tiny. The right boot has some toes protruding out. The left boot does not. The underside of the tail has the same wash over it as the neck. I like the sculpting of the tail. The great thing about the tail is it definitely helps standing the figure up. Here is a look at the backside as well as the gun holster strapped around the torso. There is added sculpting of stitches to give it a leather appearance. Once again a nice touch. Going over the articulation, the head can look left and right. It can slightly look up and down. There is some tilt as well. The arms can go outwards. They can also go forwards and backwards. There is rotation at the elbow as well as a bend. The hands can rotate 360 degrees as well as slightly hinge. There is a waist rotation. The legs can go outwards. The thighs can also rotate. They don't kick forwards or back that far. There is a bend at the knees. The feet can rotate. The tail can go up and down as well as side to side. Similar to the original Ninja Turtles toy line, this figure includes a weapons rack with several unpainted weapons. We get a knife, trap, fishing rod, and a shotgun. These can all be removed and displayed with the figure. The rack can stand on its own. The only painted accessory included is a shotgun. While there is added silver paint, I must point out that the silver on the barrel is already coming off. I do not recommend you placing the gun in the holster. The gun is made of a gummy plastic. It can fit into either hand with ease. The figure looks really good equipped with it. Like I mentioned, it can be stored in the holster, but you risk the paint rubbing off when doing so. Comparing this Leatherhead to a few other Leatherhead figures, 
First up is from the original Ninja Turtles toy line. This is where the new one draws most of its inspiration. I do wish the new one's mouth could open like the original. Here is Leatherhead next to the 2012 cartoon version. The 2003 and 2012 cartoons did away with the clothing minus a few wraps. So that is my review of the Mutant Mayhem Leatherhead figure. Once again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. If you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Thanks for watching.